Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe. If you are new here, today's video is going to be like a last minute Halloween look. So happy Halloween. And just in case you didn't have like an idea of like what to do for Halloween or like you have a last minute plan or something, um, this is just gonna be like a makeup tutorial on what you can do. It's gonna be like this really pretty um, butterfly look and I'm excited. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave, join the family. If you wanna follow me on any other social media, Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter. That will all be down in the description below. I do have two other ideas for makeup looks that I might post on Instagram. I won't be doing a tutorial on them, but they will be on Instagram possibly. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in to this last minute makeup look for Halloween. Okay, so the first thing I did was go ahead and do my face off camera and I just did a normal foundation routine but I'm going in with this Nazaru water activated face paint um, and I'm just using like a really small detailing um, liner brush honestly I think that this would be easier if you were actually using paint brushes versus makeup brushes because this brush was a little bit stiff and it was kind of hard to work with I think that a paintbrush would be like a little bit more flimsy and a little bit more um, like have a little bit more movement to it and the lines wouldn't have messed up as much or like I don't know I, I feel like it would have been easier um, just overall if I would have had a paintbrush versus makeup brush um, and I'm just doing my basic outline of the butterfly wing that I'm going to do on my eyes and I know right here it looks a bit rough <laughs> just trust the process trust the process and my eye my eyelids gonna look a little weird throughout this video because I do have hooded eyes and so the lines aren't connected until later but it'll be fine and I'm just taking like anytime I mess up I just take this concealer brush that just has like a tiniest bit of concealer on it and I just kind of wipe away the paint and it kind of works out pretty well um so any mistakes that I make I just do that or I'll use like a q-tip um and now I'm just gonna make the details inside the wing they don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be identical which is really nice because you don't have to like freak out about trying to get everything looking absolutely perfect and right now this is just like a rough draft of what is going to happen like within the wing um i do go and correct a lot of things there there are steps that i take you know that are going to be like i'm correcting it and blah 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 so you'll, you'll see as i go so right there, I just used a Q-tip and cleaned it up a little bit. All right, now I'm just gonna go in and basically fill in everything that needs to be filled in. Um, and just go around all of the like little details that I made and just color everything in that needs to be colored in. So I'm just taking this medium toned brown. It's like, a, I don't know, it's like a transition brown color. And I'm going to take like a small liner brush or like right now I'm using a pencil brush, I think. I don't know but just a small makeup brush of some sort and i'm going to outline the butterfly with this brown it's going to make the white pop a lot more it's going to look a lot more distinct and it's also going to kind of create some shadow to it um which just adds a little bit more depth to the wing overall and i'm going to also do this to all of the details on the inside which is a bit tedious um, but definitely worth it because it makes the butterfly wing stand out so much more and I really enjoyed that. Like, I think it was a nice touch. I do, however, think that if you do this in black versus white, um, if you just have liquid liner, you can just use liquid liner. That's what the girl who whose tutorial I watched, that's what she did. She just used liquid liner. Um, but yeah, if you just do black, you don't have to do all of this because it will stand out on its own. Um, with white, you do have to work a little bit harder. And I did have black, obviously, but... I really wanted to do white. I feel like it would it was going to stand out on my skin tone a lot and I was right. I really enjoyed how it looked. But yeah, you can also do it in black and I bet it would take half the time it did for me to do it in white. And so right here, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm outlining all of those details and then I'm going to go back in with the white face paint and um, just intensify the white a little bit more and 
help it stand out a bit and correct any problems that I might see here and there. And then I'm just going to set it with some white eyeshadow, just a flat white eyeshadow. If you don't have a white eyeshadow, you can use translucent powder um, and that'll be great. Uh, this is a water activated paint. Honestly, I would have used a different kind of face paint because this started to crack. The eyeshadow helped prevent it from cracking. Okay, and then I'm just using that same stark white eyeshadow and I am putting it on the corner of my eye, like the inside of the wing, and buffing it out towards the like outside of the wing. Now I'm just adding these squiggly lines that are coming off the butterfly, kind of making the butterfly look like it's melting. And I think it looks really pretty, really, really pretty. Uh, these you can be really messy with. Um, they're pretty sporadic, just follow your heart. <laughs> um, I'm going back in with that same brown shadow that I used around the wing, and I'm adding that to my lids ever so slightly just to have a little bit of depth in there, but mostly so that it has a background for the glitter that I'm about to lay down here in a second. So I'm using these two glitters. One is from a small Instagram boutique and then one is a NYX um, glitter. One is silver and very, very fine and the other is very chunky and it's holographic. And I think the mix of them was just so pretty. Um, I really wish you could have seen it more on camera. In person, it stood out a lot. But yeah, I did go back in and just intensify some of the white lines and then I'm adding it to my lids. Um, and I'm using the NYX glitter glue to um, help the glitter adhere to my, my eyes and my skin. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the KKW Nude 2 lip liner and then the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And then I top it with a really nude Anastasia lipstick. I don't know what it's called, but it's like their nudist liquid lipstick um just to make it a little bit lighter and then i'm done i'm done do you like it i love it okay so i am done with this makeup look i love how it turned out i did originally want to do like a skeleton mouth with this look but it took a lot longer than i expected it to take so i just went with a nude lip but i think a really nice twist on this would be the skeleton mouth like i think it'd be really really cool um but yeah I'm obsessed. This did take me about two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. Um, so if you do decide to do this, make sure you have the time to do it. And like you could just wear it with like a pretty white dress or like a white corset or even just like a white shirt and like some white jeans or something. It's so pretty. I really, really like how it turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't put out more Halloween content. This is the first time I ever did any kind of like face painting on myself. Um, so yeah i didn't i didn't know how it was gonna go but i really really like it i wish you guys could see it in person because i swear it looks so cool in person so yeah that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching happy halloween and i will see you guys in my next video bye